People who live off Claremont Boulevard say their city streets are crumbling and falling apart. They complained on the Get It Done app but say the city is stonewalling them. CBS 8 is working for you. Anna Laurel spent the day calling city leaders to draw attention to this neighborhood and get some answers. When these neighbors reached out to us at CBS 8, they described the street as feeling like sandpaper. And when we turned onto it this morning, that's exactly what it felt like as we were driving on it. They've been filling out requests and complaints on the Get It Done app for a year now and got no answers. So this morning, I started calling their council member, Chris Kate's office, and the folks with the Get It Done app. This isn't a gravel pit. This is the city street in front of Evan Gutenberg's house. We're not a tourist attraction in San Diego. And so just, this area just gets completely neglected. Gutenberg lives off Claremont Mesa Boulevard on Kessling Place, a crumbling road covered by loose rock and pebbles. He and other young families moved here, revitalizing the neighborhood, only to discover their kids can't actually play here. My son riding the bike had just tried to turn around right here, hit the loose gravel, front tire slipped out, and wiped out. out. He had to get stitches in his knee at the ER. No, the uh, neglect of the street just there's real life consequences to it. Taroth Dehan says she takes her kids to a local park to play. It is pretty frustrating, especially with the cost of living in San Diego. And it's not just their end of the street. We drove through the neighborhood and walked. Right hey, look. Hey, you. Here's a piece of your street. Yeah. Several neighbors submitted complaints on the city's Get It Done app with no response. Evan did get one. The street has been evaluated and placed on the resurfacing backlog pending funding. Just falls on deaf ears. Starting early this morning, I reached out to council member Kate and city reps for Get It Done. Here's the response from Kate's office. Council member Kate has been a fierce advocate for District 6 residents on several issues, including street repaving. He has included Kessling Street in his budget priority memos in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Our office continues to communicate with residents on Kessling, and we're following up on their Get It Done submissions. So I asked point blank, where are these streets on the city's priority list, and when can they get fixed? They directed me to the mayor's office. It's beyond frustrating. Working for you in San Diego, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8. Don't forget, CBS 8 is working for you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.